So what's going on guys, it's JM, it's Beatboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions and what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick silver tour on my channel. So, former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and boxing icon, I am Mike Tyson, has came out in the past day or so and said that it would look totally ridiculous if Conor McGregor fights Floyd Mayweather and tries to box with him. And to quickly quote Mike Tyson, it's just a short quote, he says, I don't believe this can ruin boxing at all. The only way it can ruin boxing is if McGregor goes and boxes Floyd because he's going to look really ridiculous boxing him. But if he goes in there with the UFC stuff, now this could be pretty interesting. And yeah, under MMA rules and under the rules of being in the cage, Conor McGregor would be the massive favourite over Floyd Mayweather. But in terms of boxing and the rules of boxing in the ring, then Floyd Mayweather is going to dominate Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor is taller than Floyd Mayweather, he has the bigger reach. But Floyd Mayweather has the longer arms, and I know people get this mixed up. People say reach is the same as arm length. It is not. Go and look it up. Um, the reach is not the same as the guy's actual arm length. So, anyway, it doesn't really matter because Floyd Mayweather would still dominate Conor McGregor in a boxing match. This is a man with practically no boxing experience. I know he does a lot of striking in his MMA fights, that's his main attribute. But it's, that's not the same kind of fighting as boxing. Like, this is the sweet science, and Conor McGregor just wouldn't be able to handle somebody like Floyd Mayweather. Like, you can go and look it up on YouTube. Conor McGregor sparring Chris Van Heerden, who is a fringe contender. He was absolutely blasted by Errol Spence, and Conor McGregor was getting schooled by Chris Van Heerden in this sparring session. Right, for an example, right, O'Hara Davis and Josh Taylor two British light like, weight fighters are fighting on July the 8th for the WBC Silver and Commonwealth light like, weight titles do you think Conor McGregor would be able to beat them guys in a boxing match? I don't think so Josh Kelly the Olympian the welterweight who's just turned professional 3-0 was an Olympian I think he would beat the brakes of Conor McGregor in a boxing match and he's a young prospect they aren't 49 and 0 fighters like Floyd Mayweather, five weight world champions. So this fight at the end of the day is just a circus. Obviously, people are gonna watch the fight. People are gonna say, yeah, there's a lot of people hating about this fight, but they're still gonna watch it. Yeah, people are gonna watch this fight because we're all human at the end of the day, and human people tend to have natural curiosity. Like we are curious people especially if something's hyped up enough and it's seen as a massive event, then we're going to watch it out of pure curiosity. And people are still going to watch this fight, so this is why this is good business between Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. Because deep down, they must know that this would be a mismatch. Like, surely they're not that deluded to think this fight could be competitive because it's not at the end of the day this is all about money and this is for millions and millions of pounds it's all about the money all about the moolah all about the dollar dollar bill that's all these guys want that's all they're trying to make and if this fight signed Floyd Mayweather will fight Conor McGregor in a boxing match and I think Floyd Mayweather will dominate him over 12 rounds and just put on a bit of an exhibition Conor McGregor would probably be trying to chase him around the ring or something like that. It wouldn't be surprised me if fucking Conor McGregor got pissed off and hit him with a spin kick or something and knocked him out that way and got disqualified. You know, that would be something to fucking write over about, wouldn't it? But yeah, this fight is what it is, isn't it? If it happens, it's just a pure um, circus. It's just an event that people will see. It's an event for the casuals at the end of the day. People who love Conor McGregor and all the Floyd Mayweather fans who only watch Floyd fights and are only fans of Floyd and MMA fans who are only fans of Conor McGregor and only know Conor McGregor and it's for them kind of fans. And at the end of the day, them kind of fans, you need them in your career to make your money. So people hate on casual fans and stuff like that, but without them fans, fighters won't make any money. So you've just got to take it with a pinch of salt at the end of the day. If you're a hardcore fan and you know it's a total farce, you can say it's a total farce. But at the end of the day, you can't really ridicule people too much for watching the fight and buying it and stuff like that. Because at the end of the day, they earn fighters money and the fighters get in there and put it all on the line. 
and take the risk so yeah just gotta take it with a pinch of salt so yeah comment below in the comment section it's jm it's 